ensure that the scene is safe. There's no trips, slips, or false hazard. I declare that the scene is safe. I will close the door or curtain to provide privacy and dignity for my patient. Then I will do my hand hygiene. I'll get the hand rub. Following the WHO seven steps of hand hygiene, palm to palm, back of the hands, fingers interlace, fingers interlock, rotational cleaning of thumb, fingertips, fingertips, and let it air dry for 30 seconds. Now I can approach my patient. Hello Jane, good morning. My name is Paula. I'm your nurse for today. Before we start, can I just verify your name and date of birth as I counter check it with your eye please? Yeah, I'm Jane Doe and my date of birth is 8 of 8, 1998. That's correct and your MRN number is 8888X. Um, just to verify, because you don't have any red allergy bands, do you have any allergies to food, drugs, or latex? No, I don't. That's also correct. So, as I can ensure that I'm talking to the correct patient, I will be explaining to you why I'm, why I'm here, okay? So, Jane, I'm here because I will be doing your wound dressing for this morning. As I, um, it says here that you have a surgical wound on your um, right side of your abdomen. And I have to clean it with 0.9% normal saline and have to um, put a dressing there with an offsite. And just to make sure, first, um, I have to check your wound site. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's okay. So, thank you for giving me the consent for this one. So, before we start, Jane, is it okay for you to just um, zip down the uh, jacket just to expose the wood area for me so I can visually um, assess it? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Thank you. So, Jane, before we start, can I just confirm, are, um, have you got any pain? at the moment no i'm okay at the minute thanks so thank you but um just to remind you um while i'm doing the procedure if you feel that you've got any pain just please feel free to tell me so i could um stop and just uh, make sure to assess you further if you need any more pain relief. is that okay yeah i can do that thank you thank you so much all right jane thank you for exposing the surgical wound for us so first i have to do some wound um, assessment before i do the wound dressing is that okay Yes. That's okay. Thank you. So I could see that the condition of the wound, that there's erythema on the lower part of the wound. Also, the area around the wound, um, it's dry and clean. Uh, there's no presence of exudate. Also, I could see that there's seven blue sutures um, as a wound closure. And also, also, as a condition of the floor, I could note that at the bottom part, it's got good granulation and good wound healing. So again, um, have you got any pain or tenderness on the surgical side? No, I'm okay at the minute. Thank you. Okay, so we'll continue to assess it later as we do the wound dressing. So again, if there's any exudate that I could find, I will send it. I will get the swab and send it to the laboratory, um, to the microbiology uh, bag and inform the medical team about this okay okay so you can close again your um top or your jacket and i will just come back um uh, with my equipment okay thank you thank you so now i need to clean my trolley but first i need to do my hand hygiene so using a hand gel using the WHO 7 uh, steps for hand hygiene palm the ball back of the hands fingers interlace fingers interlock traditional cleaning of thumb, fingertips, fingertips, and let it air dry for 30 seconds. Then I need to wear my apron. And also my non-stereo gloves. So I'll be cleaning my front. Then I will wear my non-stereo gloves. Then I will be cleaning the trolley using a Quinelle wipes in a dry and intact packaging and expiring on 2027-1202. So I'll get one Quinelle wipe, I'm opening it fully and cleaning the trolley from farthest to nearest, ensuring I'm cleaning all the surface. Opening it fully again. Cleaning the bottom shelf. Just posing. And just to make 
her to clean the sidebars as well. air dry for 30 seconds. I will be removing my PPE hoodie, discarding it in the chemical waste bin, and doing my hand hygiene before preparing my equipment for Now my trolley is uh, dry, I will be happy to prepare my equipment and put it in the bottom shelf of the trolley. So I will be needing, I have here my universal aseptic dressing pack, size medium, dry and intact packaging, and expiring 2026 to 20. I have here a spare. Stereo glove size 8, dry and intact packaging, expires 2025 to 8. I have here my offsite for my wood dressing. Um, dry and intact packaging expires 2028 to 1. I have here my Quinelle wipes, dry and intact packaging, expires 2025-6. I have here my 0.9% normal saline, expiring 6 2027, dry intact packaging, no precipitate. I'll be bringing with me my um, alcohol hand gel, expires 2 2026, at the bottom of my trolley. And I'm happy to proceed to the patient's room, just making sure to um, bring the trolley, minimizing disturbance to the curtains. Here with me, so are you still comfortable? I'm okay, thank you. Right, so, thank you again for exposing the surgical site for us. So, I'll just have to do my hand hygiene again before I put my PPE on. So, again, Jane, just throughout the procedure, if you feel like you're uncomfortable and you've got massive pain, just tell us, and I'll be happy to stop for a while and then just make sure to address the pain, okay? Okay. my dressing back. Make sure to open it to the correct way up, placing it in the middle of the trolley. Opening the dressing back using only the corners, touching only the corners of the sterile dressing back. So on top of the dressing back is but I'm wearing another apron now, so I'll just be putting it at the bottom. Then I'll be getting the white waist pack, making sure I only touch the red line indicator and stepping one step back. Just making sure I. Since I don't have a corset, I'll be using this to organize the equipment inside my dressing bag. So I have here my sterile gloves and I'll also make sure to not put my equipment more than one centimeter on the sides of the dressing bag. I have here my uh, measurement of paper for the wood, another gloves, another tray, I'll be leaving some gauze on that basin just so when 
na hindi ito buwan. It will be soaked there already. So since there's no dressing in the wood, I'll be happy to just use this as my base pack. And I will be placing it on the side of my dressing floor. Okay? Okay. okay. All the equipments I need before I do the wood dress. Okay? So I have to get my canal, open it fully, and make sure to clean my normal saline, purify my normal saline for 30 seconds. So one, two, three. I'm quite happy that everything is in my sterile field. I'll be doing my hand hygiene before I put my sterile gloves on. So later on as well, Jane, I'll be putting a drape just to extend the sterile field. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. So never swing carefully. One step back. And just pull the... Sure not to contaminate. And just put in the inner cuff. Then just get the last sterile gloves. Making sure I just hold the inside of the cuff so not to be contaminated. So now I'm happy that I have my sterile gloves um, in place. Now I'll put the sterile tray. Make sure I just fold it from the inside. So when I fold it, I don't contaminate my gloves. Great. So Jane, I'm happy to proceed now. So before I start, I will declare that my right hand is my clean hand and my left hand is my dirty hand. Okay? So Jane, I'll be cleaning your wood from cleanest to dirtiest using a single stroke. So is that okay, Jane? Is that painful or any tenderness in the area? That's okay. That's good. So just one more. So I'll just make sure that I don't overclean the wood, okay? After this, so we're just gonna dry it now. And then after this, I just need to measure the size of the wound. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. So I could see that there's really no signs of infections or x-ray. So I'll just measure the size of the wound. So I could see that it's 8 centimeters by 0 0.5 centimeters width. So I'll be just getting the dressing, uh, the oxide dressing now, okay? So I'll make sure I open it. And just make sure not to touch the inside of the dressing. Keep 
using the aseptic non budge technique. So are you ready? Yeah. So I'm just gonna secure it now. Securing it with my other hand. So I remove the first dressing and I will just remove the top dressing. So right Jane? We are done with the dressing. How do you feel? I'm feeling okay, thank okay, you. So are you able to I'll just help you close the Then you can zip that later on. Okay, I'll just remove this frame. Just throw it in that waste bin. And just put back the covers. Okay, so I'm quite happy not to um, change the sheets because they're um, clean. There's no um, there's no soiling that happened when we did the wood dressing. So again, um, if you got any concerns, you can just press the call bell, uh, which is just beside you. If you got any concerns? No, I'm okay. Right, okay. So I'm just gonna make sure to dispose of as well my equipment. Again, Jane, thank you for your time. I'm just gonna dispose in this with a chemical waste bin. And I will do my hand hygiene, remove my gloves, do my hand hygiene. And I will make sure to clean the trolley again uh, with Clinel wipes and make sure that I do uh, have my PPE on. Just ready for the next use. Thank you for your time, Jane. Thank you.